Hello everybody, as you can see I've got the Android virtual device of Android M up here and uh, it's running a little bit slow um, hopefully that's okay let's start by going into settings um, the launcher for Android M the new launcher for Android M is not on the uh, preview in the SDK at least um, some of the changes that we do know for Android M. If you haven't seen the Google I.O. for today, uh, there's going to be another tomorrow and we'll learn more. Um, right now we just know what they've told us. Uh, some of the changes include Android Pay, um, easy word selection, that would be like long pressing on text and uh, selecting, which I could try to um, show y'all. Um, first, I want to just go through the settings. So, we've got the easy word selection. We got floating clipboard tool, uh, work contact contacts and personal contacts. We've got a hotspot 2.0, VPN apps and settings, flex storage, duplex printing, app standby, seamless certificate installation for enterprise, undo redo keyboard shortcuts, do not disturb automatic rules. Uh, data usage API for work profiles, material design support library, update I guess, uh, Bluetooth SAP, not exactly sure what that is, voice interaction service, USB type C charging, app link verification, battery historian, V2, B2, BT, 4.2, simplified volume controls, improved Bluetooth, uh, Doze, uh, Doze is pretty neat, how saving energy, um, text selection actions, improved text hype, Hyphenation and, and justification, improved diagnostics, uh, IT admin acceptance of OTAs. Not exactly sure what that means. Google Now on tap. Um, they've done a lot to the Google Now thing. Um, we won't, won't be able to show you in that in here because they don't have it in this preview. See auto backup for apps, uh, unified app settings view, UI toolkit, contextual assistant framework. Chrome custom tabs. This is neat because it allows for a seamless uh, transition from app to browser. Enterprise factory reset protection. Direct share. Corporate ownage own single use device support. Do not disturb quick settings. Um, improved trusted face reliable reliability. Improved text layout. Fingerprint sensor. Um, Performance support, alphabetical app list with search, that's with the launcher, unified Google Now, runtime settings and, and permissions, work status notifications, MID, MIDI support, awesome, portable Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth connectivity for device provisioning, seven additional languages, power improvements and Wi-Fi scanning, data binding support library, beta setup wizard, IMAP sign-in, delegate certificate certificate installation okay so now that we went through this uh, list let's uh, just look a little bit through these settings um, it you will probably just think that um, when you first see this it looks just like lollipop and it does um, a lot of like they said in Google IO they've fixed a lot of bugs and made it stable and like they do every year and you know they really haven't done a lot of changes but um, first let's uh, go into I guess about phone we'll just show you um, that this is Android M and all that so yeah model number and it doesn't seem like it's letting me go into that little uh, triple tap screen for now so um, I already have developer settings because it comes with it so let's go back anyways and sorry this is going a little bit slow but hopefully my talking can get you through it so let's go into developer options and in here we do have a bit of new things like we have show system UI tuner which I turned on uh, the theme as you can see we are running the light theme in the settings right now um, you have a theme for dark and automatic. I'm guessing automatic uses light sensors 
and that would be pretty cool. So, like, at night, it would use the dark theme. Um, so, yeah, show system UI tuner. Uh, you can see these settings, logging, blah, blah, blah. I don't think there's much of anything new in here. Um, interactive apps. I don't think we have that in... Let me check. Interactive apps. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what that is. But anyways, let's um, just go back and back again. And I will show you the uh, UI modifier thing, which is just the, uh, or the system UI tuner. I'm guessing and hoping that they continue to add stuff to this. Right now, they only have quick settings in here. Uh, so you can move around the um, menu, pull down menu. So I'm hoping that they add more to the system UI tuner because it's obviously lacking with one option. So let's go up here and we've got some uh, stuff like in the apps, uh, the permission thing. I know that was the big thing today in the Google I.O. today. Um, where you can revoke permissions, oh, web browser permissions. Also, with the uh, thing where it's going, where they have runtime permissions, where you run the app and it asks if you'd like it to allow something. Um, those type of permissions, I don't think they have it in the developer build. I don't think they have that, like what they showed in Google I/O. Okay, here. All right, in the browser, you can see we can revoke. Uh, microphone, location, camera, contacts. So yeah, that's really cool. And because usually you'd have to use something like root for that. Um, so they're getting Android better and better, where you don't need root as much. You still need root. There's no way you can live without root. Okay, and I almost forgot to show you the text selection. So I'm going to long press on this and you can see uh, select all copy share and then there's this button here which has uh, web search so yeah I guess that's their simplified text selection but anyways I think uh, really there's not much to see um, Besides that, like I said, there's it's a lot of it's a lot of um, bug fixes and small changes. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some more changes later on, and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, have a great day.